let us start to understand that what is the build process in the embedded C. The build process is basically to compile the C code which you are writing to the machine understandable code for the target system. You may be using your host PC as a development system and you want to run the code which is, has been written in the embedded C to a target embedded architecture. So to do this process we need to use different tools to do that. So this is a called build process. Now after building this code and porting this code to the embedded architecture it will be running on that embedded platform. When build tools run on the same system as the program they produce so they can make a lot of assumptions about the system. But in the embedded scenario this is not the case because the target system is not available in the host computer. So as a developer from the embedded C we need to give different information about the host to the host system about the target system. So that there are different information about the target system we have to provide to the host architecture to generate the C code to the machine understandable code. So let us see that what are the different tools which is, will be used as a build process in the embedded C. This all tools which is required to build a successful code which will be working for the target and embedded system is called as tool chain. So tool chain is basically a set of tools which is required for a specific architecture of the embedded system to generate the code from the host PC. So in the host PC you are going to use the tool chain in a step by step process to generate the code for the target system. The, so in that way we will be able to automate the code generation process of the embedded system we are going to use. For example, if all of your programs will be executed on a host PC which is running on Windows, your compiler can automate therefore different stages of the compilation as a collet together as a software build process. But on the embedded software development tools, on the other hand, we need to provide the information to the host PC to automate that part of generation of the code process. So what are the things we have to give to the information to the host PC about the target PC. So the target PC is basically having an architecture which is maybe 8 bit architecture which is maybe 16 bit architecture which is the bit size of the microcontroller or microprocessor which is supported by the target PC. Also we have to provide what is the Indianness of the architecture, what is the uh, different memory or interfaces which is available in the microcontroller in the target system. So each of the source file in that way after that setting the different information as a configuration the cross, the cross compiler will come into picture. The cross compiler will basically compile the code of the C language which is platform independent to the machine ar level architecture for the target system. And the cross compiler will use different configuration from the which will get from the different configuration files. The cross compiler will take the, all the source files and compile it to the object file. This object file will be linked together to generate the relocatable program. And during the linking there will be another automation script will be come into the picture which is called linker script. This linker script will have all the information of the physical memory addresses where the program will be relocated after the 
installation in the target system. So the phys physical memory address must be assigned to the relative offsets within the relocatable, relocatable program in the process called relocation. The result of the final step is a file called executable binary image that is going to be ready to run on the embedded system. So after the generation of the embedded uh, executable binary file, now we have to download it to the target hardware to make it run on the target system. So but why do we need a separate build process like this? Because the host PC you are working may be running Windows, it has a separate architecture, maybe it is having Intel architecture or PowerPC architecture. But the embedded system where you are developing your embedded platform is having a different architecture. Maybe it is a very simple 8-bit microcontroller. So the host system cannot directly run the program of the target architecture. Now you need the embedded hardware to run the target that target program. So this is a basically overview of the build process. In the coming tutorials, we will understand in very details that what is the compilation steps, what are the linking process and what is the generation of the final binary image, how you can verify those images that binary file is correct or not and more and more. Thank you.